to what does reconciliation look like authentically in a classroom. Um, you know, I've, I've learned a lot about, I don't get to decide what reconciliation is as a non-Indigenous person. Um, that's something that it's not up for me to decide, but I need to be able to understand what reconciliation might look like for myself, for my students, to be allies with my students, to support my students who are who are going through issues when we learn about this and um, and just try and bring this truth to light. I'm passionate about history, um, I'm passionate about the untold stories of history and breaking that grand narrative of Canada uh, and bringing truth to, to young people who can go on to do, in their future and their lives to do great things. Like when you look up reconciliation, it, it gives you the term, but the reality is if they could hear the, the live stories from people that experienced it, that went been through it, it makes a bigger impact, more uh, meaningful. You have to give the teachings. Some of our students, they don't have that connection um, with, you know, with the high rates of, of um, Indigenous people incarcerated and, and the Indigenous children and people um, part of the child welfare system. Some of those things are huge barriers for some of our young people who don't have those connections. So I think when we offer these types of programs in school, it helps them to at least connect to something of their history and something that they are connected to that they don't even really know how proud and, and how important it is to feel that um, generational knowledge and know that at some point in time we survived here for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm.